welcome to On The Limit. This week we look back on the second half of the season for the GT300 class in the Japan GT Championship. At the halfway mark in the Autobax Japan GT Championship, things seem perfectly balanced in the fight for the GT300 title. After all, in the four rounds so far this year, there have been four winners. Morio Nitta and Shinichi Takagi won the opener in their Toyota MRS. The VMAC was guided to victory by Shinsuke Shibahara and Shogo Mitsuyama on its debut in round two. Come round three, it was the Nissan Silvia to the fore, driven by Masataka Yanagida and 2001 runner-up Tetsuya Yamano. Then, in the first championship round run outside Japan, Haruhiko Matsumoto and Nobuteru Taniguchi won in Malaysia in their Mazda RX-7. But another two top four finishers give Yamano and Yanagida the series points lead. So Shibahara leads away from the start in the VMAC. Challenged by Aoki in the first turn, he gets inside the VMAC. But no, he can't make that one stick. Now another of the Nissans is featuring for all the wrong reasons. Ofumi Omoto Silvia has banged the walls and he brings out the safety car. After the restart, the VMAC resumes in the lead. Ahead of Aoki with Mitsuhiro Kinoshita next in the endless Porsche. Yamano struggling in the Unicea Jack Sylvia. Now he gets demoted to fifth by Hideshi Matsuda's Porsche. Here's a replay of an incident involving Tetsuji Tamanaka in the Mosler, bumping guards with Osamu's Porsche into turn one. Now Yamano's back ahead of Matsuda, with Guts Jonai, Morio Nitta, and Koji Matsuda next in their Toyotas. Ahead of the Cusco Subaru, now 10th. Now a GT500 Toyota's crash starts a rush on the pits. Most of the others have pitted, but Aoki in the Nissan and Kinoshita in the Porsche keep going. So now they run first and second. Here's the Mazda that was only just inside the top 20, now leaving the pits, and the VMAC is still in there. So they're losing a lot of time. Only now does Aoki pull into handover to Oyagi, and Kinoshita too is in the pits. Yanagida's got the number three Nissan past Shinichi Takagi's Toyota for fifth place. Then it's the Subaru and the VMAC. So Oyagi's in second in the Dacian Nissan and Hideo Fukuyama leads in the endless Porsche. Here's the VMAC that qualified so well, started this race so well, but lost a heap of time in the pit stop. Now it's seventh. And here's the leader, almost a lap ahead of the former race leader. Oh, big crash here. These three were fighting for 13th place, and that's turned out to be very unlucky. At Sushi Katsumata's Porsche, and the Toyotas of Satoru Goto and Takeshi Namakawa are out. Fukuyama is en route to his first win of the year, the sixth of his career. And Oyagi's heading for a 2002 series best second place. Fukuyama's already done it. And the Dacian Sylvia's second, with Yanagida and the other Nissan third. Fukuyama and Kinoshita are understandably happy with their second podium of the year. So this is the first Porsche victory in almost two years, courtesy of Fukuyama and Kinoshita. Nissans take the other podium positions, leaving Nitta and Takagi to take fourth, and Kobayashi and Tanigawa to fifth in their Subaru. In the point standings, Yamano and Yanagida extend their lead on Nitta and Takagi. Fukuyama and Kinoshita advance to a close third.
After the disappointment of slipping from the lead to 13th with fuel supply problems in round five, the VMAC is back with a vengeance at the Motegi sixth round. The team shrugs off a 50 kilo handicap weight to still take pole. Hatsushi Yogo puts the plus E Tysan Porsche second on the grid. While points leaders Yanagida and Yamano with 80 kgs on board have to settle for seventh on the grid. So Shinsuke Shibahara leads from Yogo's Porsche at the start and Go Mifune's third in the Mosler. He's the one who had the big lock up there in turn one. It is a bit of a surprise how close the Mosler is able to stick to the VMAC considering that the Chev V8 engine racers only had one top 10 finish all season. The Cusco Subaru is up to third at Yogo's expense. There's a big fight going on here. This is around 10th place with the endless Porsche and the Amamiya RX-7 in the midst of it. Morio Nitta in the Toyota is fighting off Takeyuki Aoki's Nissan for fifth. Now Mifune and the Mosler is looking like a threat to Shibahara's lead. It doesn't work here, but the Mosler is putting in a standout run here today. Next behind them is Tatsuya Tanagawa in the Subaru, with Yogo next in his plus E Porsche. This looks like bad news for the Mosler. This is too early for a scheduled stop, and it's a little too leisurely as well. Now though it is pit stop time, with the VMAC already heading out again, still ahead of the Subaru. They're not first and second though, Yogo has stayed out in his Porsche and so he leads for the moment anyway. A scrapping Wayne Gardner and Ryo Mishigami fighting for third in GT500 loom up behind Haruhiko Matsumoto's RX-7 and Gardner clips him, sending the RX-7 into the barriers. And into a stricken McLaren, unlucky enough to be stopped right there. Here's the VMAC, if rejoined in fifth, but is already back up to second behind Yogo. And now, as the Porsche finally pits, the VMAC will be back in the lead. And as the number two Honda slows to head into the pits as well, the Subaru goes by to resume in second place. The Honda was seventh before the pit stop started. So the young Mitsuyama leads. But there's trouble for Katsuo Takahashi as fire breaks out under the Honda on its outlap after the pit stop. He's heading back into the pits with what could be a split brake line. Oh, he locks it up and slams headlong into a safety barrier. Takahashi's okay, but the car is a bit second hand. In third place now is Nishizawa in the Taisan Porsche. Out front, the VMAX heading for its second victory of the year. Mitsuyama comes through for a dominant win. The Nishizawa Porsche is third, right behind the VMAX. Then the Cusco Subaru crosses the line. It's in second. The team certainly did do its best today. A win by 6.2 seconds over Katsuo Kobayashi and Tatsuya Tanigawa in the Subaru. Atsushi Yogo and Katsuyuki Nishizawa are third. Yamano and Yanagida come through from seventh on the grid to fourth, ahead of Morio Nitta and Shinichi Takagi. Today's win brings Shibahara and Mitsuyama up to fifth, but Yamano and Yanagida still lead. Nitta and Takagi are second, and Porsche pair Fukuyama and Kinoshita are third. At the Minet seventh round, the VMAC does a weight-defying act, claiming second on the grid despite 80 kilos of penalty weight. Shogo Mitsuyama's just one-tenth of a second slower than Katsuo Takahashi and Akira Watanabe's Honda. Series points leaders Yamano and Yadagida can only salvage 14th, with 80 kilos on board their Nissan. Closest rivals Nitta and Takagi are only slightly better off, 12th, with 60 kilos on board, but still 11 points behind. 
Come the start of the race, Akira Watanabe leads out ahead of Shibahara and the BMAC, the endless Porsche, and two of the Toyota MRSs. Series leader Tetsu Yamano's on attack here, and he goes past points arch rival Morio Nitta. And a replay here of Koji Matsuda tagging and going by the Shibahara VMAC. Oh, the Malaysian BMW team continues its tough debut season. It's really been in the wars here. Wow, Matsuda's really on a charge. He's up from six on the grid. Now he grabs the lead from Watanabe in the Honda. Ah, oh, now Yamano Silvia has stopped. He's out of the car and out of the race. Yanagita and team boss Masahiro Asami look pretty unhappy. The VMAX in now for its pit stop from second place. Now leader Matsuda stops to hand over the Project U crystal car to Masaoki Nagashima. The Mazda RX-7's just been passed by three of the cars running in the top six in GT500. And now when two of them collide, Nobutera Taniguchi's got nowhere to go and T-Bone's one of them. The fight at the front is now down to these two, Keita Sawa in the 71 Sigma Toyota and Nagashima in the Project U Crystal MRS. Now one of the GT500 race leaders comes flying past Sawa who has to lock it all up to avoid him. Now Nagashima almost stops to avoid the same thing happening to him. And he's left himself open to an attack from Sawa and wait for it, yes he's got the lead. It is one of the hazards in the JGTC. There's five or six seconds a lap difference here between the GT300 and 500 cars, so coping with traffic is hugely important. And now the VMAX right up on Nagashima, and he spears straight off into the barriers. Something must have broken, and he slams into the wall, and that means the fabulous run is all over. Back in pit lane, Matsuda is heartbroken. Here's the gap then that Keita Sawa now holds on the VMAC in second place after a day of seesawing fortunes. Oh no, now Sawa's in trouble. There's a problem with the front left and the VMAC's got past him. And now Sawa heads off into the gravel and retirement. So the VMAC hits the lead while for Sawa there's only despair. Here's the lead then that the VMAC has on second place and that's held now by the Rodeo Drive Porsche driven by Brit Adam Wilcox. It's a strong performance from that team up from 16th on the grid. In third is the Plus E Porsche driven by Katsuyuki Nishizawa, a car that's really showing the scars of battle as well. So it's the VMAC that comes through for its second win in a row. For once, it wasn't the fastest car in the race, but it has got there by running reliably and still close enough to the pace. So Mitsuyama and Shibahara celebrate the VMAX third win of the year, this time by 11 seconds from Wilcox and Matsuda. Yogo and Nishizawa are third, and the Chrysler Viper makes it for fourth, ahead of Nitta and Takagi. The win finally puts the VMAC into the championship lead, but by just one point over Nissan pair Tetsuya Yamano and Masataka Yanagida. Morio Nitta and Shinichi Takagi are a close third. For the Suzuka finale to the Autobax Championship, the title sits on a knife edge. There's just one point between leaders Shinsuke Shibahara and Shogo Mitsuyama and their VMAC, and the Unisea Jex Nissan pair, Masataki Yanagida and Tetsuya Yamano. But Morio Nitta and Shinichi Takagi are just four points off the lead, and their Toyota is toting only 50 kilos of penalty weight compared to the Nissan's 80 kilos and the VMAX staggering 150 kilograms. An extra penalty dished out after its two wins in a row. 
with an air restrictor penalty thrown in as well. In qualifying, the balance swings in favour of Yanagida and Yamano as they grab pole. The Mosler's second, making the most of its horsepower on the super fast Suzuka layout. And the Sigma Toyota's third. Championship front runners, the VMAC and the number 31 MRS, are fifth and sixth. Masataki Yanagita leads from the start, ahead of Go Mifune and the Mosler, and guts Joan Eyes to Oda. Then it's Takeyuki Aoki in the second Nissan, and Mitsuyama in the VMAC, tracked by Nitta's MRS. Now the top two are getting clear, leaving Joan Eye to fight off Aoki. Further back, the VMAX dropped a place to the Viper, and Mitsuyama's under attack from Minoru Tanaka in the yellow Toyota. It really looks like those penalties on the VMAX are biting hard on its performance. And the Mosler's gone through for the lead. Mifune takes the genuine lead of a race for the first time this season. That could be costly for the Nissan team. Mifune's not in contention for the title, but the points are very, very important for Yanagida and Yamano. Aoki's now in a clear third, while Jonai's left to fight off Aiji Yamato and the Viper. Further back, Tanaka's gone past Mitsuyama, and look at the others lining up to do likewise. Nitta, the RX-7, and the Plus E Porsche for starters. Out front, the Mosler's going away. It ran a close second in one round this year, only to drop out with mechanical troubles. Maybe this will be the day they score their first win. Certainly, so far, so good. The VMAX really struggling with this handicap put on it. Mitsuyama's now slipped to 12th, and he's under attack from the Matsudas. Koji in the Toyota, and Hideshi in the Porsche. Oh, not anymore. Hideshi clips the curbs and spins the Rodeo drive car, his second off in the race already. Oh no, this could be the end for the Unicea Jex team. After engine problems in practice, Yanagida's crawling along with a very sick sounding engine. Even championship arts rival Mitsuyama, who's struggling himself, charges by. So now the championship swings back in favour of the VMAC drivers or Nitta and Takagi. And that's it, Yanagida pulls straight into the garage into retirement. This is at Sushi Yogo. He was fifth, but he's not going to be any more. Here's the other championship contender, Nitta, in now to hand over to Takagi. And the VMAX in as well. So Takagi gets started. And now Shinsuke Shibahara lights him up as he's keen to get out there and win this title. Mifune's still in the lead as he now heads for the pits too. Now Aoki's in from a temporary lead to hand over to Nobuyuki Oyagi. Caught up here in a bunch of GD500 cars is Takagi's Toyota being tracked by Kaida Sawa's MRS. Oh, and Sawa living very dangerously here, steps off on the notoriously difficult 130R corner. After the stops, Tetsuji Tamanaka has the Mosler in front again, but only just ahead of Oyagi's Nissan. So the championship hangs in the balance. The way things are right now, unless Mitsuyama can get the VMAC up higher than its current 11th place, they could be tied with the retired Yamano and Yanagida on points. And Nitta and Takagi, currently 7th, could make it a three-way tie. Oh, now the Mosler's off, out of the lead. Oh, heart-stopping moment here for the Autobacks team as Takagi's obviously spun and had a lucky escape. Oh, and there must be some sort of a curse on leading this race. Now Satoru Goto's lost the lead he inherited with the Moslers off. And that means Oyagi has the 81 Nissan in the lead. Hideo Fukuyama's endless Porsche and Nobuteru Taniguchi in the RX-7 are next. What it all means is if things stay as they are in the dying stages of this race, this car, the Autobacks Toyota MRS, will carry Nitta and Takagi to the title. So Takagi's now fourth, while the VMAC is sixth, and its drivers will have to settle for second in the championship.
So Ayagi comes through for the race win. And here comes Shinichi Takagi to take the championship. His first and overjoyed teammate Morio Nitta's third. So defending champions Oyagi and Aoki pick up their first win of the year at this last race. Round five winners Fukuyama and Kinoshita are second and round four winners Matsumoto and Taniguchi are third. Nitta and Takagi are an all important fourth. But the championship honours go to Nitta and Takagi. Winners in the end by just two points. Ahead of VMAC pair, Shibahara and Mitsuyama. The retirement today leaves Yamano and Yanagita third, five points behind the leaders. Fukuyama and Kinoshita claim fourth, and Aoki and Oyagi's win here lifts them up to fifth. And so it's the end of an exciting, eventful and hard-fought Autobacks Japan GT Championship.